Hey, what up, guys? It's Nice. It's time for another lightning fast commentary. This time we're facing LeBlanc. Uh, I'm going to be taking second win and revitalize here. We're going to be winning this game with some heavy, heavy, heavy duty macro. Uh, I'm running fleet. Uh, I've also swapped tenacity. I've changed the bloodline into tenacity a lot more because of uh, testing with fleet on the other uh, with the the TF played build. I think that the lifesteal is good. Like you can obviously solo Baron and stuff like that, um, which is nice, but I feel like that you're basically playing for like a 30 minute opportunity. Um, it's still an option. Uh, and yeah, with these lightning fast commentaries, I'm going to commentate everything that comes to mind. As always, if you like these, like, comment, share, subscribe. I turn my hat backwards to denote the passage of time because I'm recording like a batch of these. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so the last one I threw, we could have won with a 0-10 bot lane, but I screwed up and I, I actually take full responsibility for that loss. Even though my team was terrible, subhuman should be banned bad, I still could have carried them because they weren't like, <clears throat> they were bad, but they weren't like running it down. LeBlanc matchup's tricky because LeBlanc, I would argue that LeBlanc, if played right, is one of the only matchups that can actually test, there's very few matchups that can actually test the fleet uh, play style really, really hard, but LeBlanc can for sure. Um, you can go Doran Shield or Doran's Blade, however you like to play. I, I like to be pretty aggro. Okay, it looks like Morg missed the binding, whatever, it's a good try. It would have been sick of the hit, it might have got the flash. Um, and what I mean by testing is like, the LeBlanc matchup can actually push you out some of the time. What's going on here? Oh, that's unlucky. We'll get him to spin, waste this E. Well, that trade's favorable for us. Uh, I'm gonna peek at this Jackson, see if he goes through red. Go ahead and trade with him, smack him. There you go, good job. Always try to get a little advantage in lane, and Vlad took advantage of that situation, which is rare. Okay, so with LeBlanc, I pretty much just do my E auto trades in here. I'm not being harassed on, uh, for this farm, which is nice. I'm gonna wait to the last second, and then do this. Oh, you spent- you went back to the- to the swap? I don't like that play. And, yeah. With good management of harass, we can just keep trading like that. I've beaten Challenger LeBlancs with this strat and gotten many good compliments with how hard it is to actually play back into this. The key here is to just to avoid um, too much free harass and to always keep LeBlanc under tower. You can do this very easily once you get to Tiamat as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fleet. Heal a little bit. Pull the chickens around. Make this, the Zac actually might think his chickens are gone because of LeBlanc W. The Zac might be very confused. Dodge the E. There you go. She gets her Thunderlord's proc, but no E connects. We'll run her out of mana eventually too. Don't know where Zac is. Where is Zac? There he is. This guy could try to push us out, but it's just not gonna happen. Don't see an opportunity there in chicken. Sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes I do look for a cheese opportunity. Maybe junglers are low for some reason. To the dismay of the LeBlanc, we're shoving. One of the strongest mids in the game, buddy. Welcome, welcome. The nice special concoction. Use our Q. Auto this creep as soon as we can. Get some fleet back. Keep shoving. Preferably before Zack gets his ass to min, fucks with us. Just spamming W on this guy if he's gonna auto attack us. We're almost double this guy's CS already. Cool, cool. Maybe uh, a little auto E. There we go. You have no mana. You have no mana. <clears throat> this is gonna be pretty free now. Since she's out of mana, I think we'll just push the dagger in here and drink our health pot. E through the wave. Bot lane got a kill. LeBlanc is quickly realizing like, oh shit, this guy's full HP and I haven't even put a dent in him. Let him auto you. Let him use spells. Let him use autos. Let him draw minion aggro. Pull back too while you do it.
We're a little scared of his Zag gank, but not too scared. We just have to make sure to um, take his CC seriously. Back away. Oh shit, I take two tower shots? That's not good. Can't do that. We'll smack this once to get fleet. Go back to lane and start pushing again. The blog's gonna feel like he has to back, and he does. And we're just going to probably stay in lane, I think. I need enough for team at. How much for team at? I think we have enough. Yeah, we hit. Well, we farmed really well on this replay. Yeah, we'll just grab it. Go back now. And that's an XP. Here's another one. No LeBlanc. She's missing XP. What's going on? That's another one. She missed a range creep too. Oh my god. This game's over. This guy's dead in the water. Mids just don't know what to do against this strat, dude. Because mid players, they just, they're not used to the sustain heavy style. And now, it's off to the push races. What's going on here? Good bind. Oh, you're dead. I'm coming. I'm coming to yank that shit. Give me that kill. Yeah, give me that shit. I love stealing kills. Hell yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'll take all your kills. All right, that means Zach's dead, which means no pressure, which means I ping that. I say, I want dragon, please, sir. Yeah, you can hit me, whatever. I don't care about you. You suck. Yeah, you suck. You play assassins. You're not faker. You're a platinum player. All right, let's go to this. I didn't play assassins when I was in platinum. Just saying. All right, uh, LeBlanc can actually pop this fiddle. And pop us both if we're good job. Getting a little sketchy. I don't know where she is. I'm gonna escort. This is an escort mission. We have a hostage situation. Uh, we win. The Zack has no passive. This is an E-Flash scenario for sure. We'll slow Nami. Easy flash. Nope, she don't got it. And this game is over, dude. This game is dead in the water. You know why? Oh, that LeBlanc still have blue. What a dick bag. You fucking dickhead. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna shove this wave now and I'm gonna go probably I could probably take chickens. Or I could take a plate or I could take chickens. Spin through the wave, because I don't know where LeBlanc is. We'll take that. We'll go like this. One, two punch. Walk over here. Go like this. Jax is moving. We'll put this here. And because of how toxic everybody's being in this season, they probably rage quit. Zach's probably gone. Probably left the match. Alright, I'm gonna kick it old school. My old school Berserker Greaves rush. We'll still get CDR eventually. I probably will just go double uh, double CDR though. I'll probably go um, Essence Reaver and Triforce. Gets me in position a little bit quicker. We'll step up to the wave. We'll step up to the wave and we'll pull the wave to the side. Like this. And the goal here with this is to simply just get his minions or get our minions closer to the tower faster. I'm in command of this. There's nothing he can do here. He just has to watch me. I could be getting roamed on though. So what we do here is we just take this plate and pull off. I think uh, Zach could actually be topside. Um, I'm gonna peek it before I push this next wave. I, I would like to know. Okay, there he is. He's got red. He's only level five, so he's getting shitted upon right now. Oh, whoa. Get off me. Pull off of that E, and then we'll spin through here and auto him once. He didn't like that too much. And the LeBlanc is out of lane. I can step up and stop his back some of the time. No, he's not there. We'll just peek just long enough to make sure that he's not being greedy. Consume Fury. And I take this plate. Zack could jump over the wall. Auto and wiggle a little bit. Don't just anticipate. He's coming from bot side. If he comes from any direction, he comes from bot side. We have this little ward thing here, though, which helps us. So I'm going to just grab this plate real quick, like so. And I'm going to go like this over the wall. The Blanc's going to have to deal with that. Because I'm ahead, and that's just all there is to it. So I'm just going to auto this. And I TP behind them. Good, good turn by Morgana.
That's all right. We don't have to go under there. We don't have to risk going under. I was thinking about diving off of that. Fiddle with the interesting rift. I don't think that's a good rift. I don't think it's a great rift. I don't think it's terrible, but I don't think it's great. Unless we shoved again before we teleported. And LeBlanc is just stuck in lane. No prio, no nothing. Nothing she can do. Jax may be thinking about coming for me. We're gonna fake a couple autos here. Wait until I have my E. Step away, Jack's probably coming. <clears throat> All right, well they used everything on us. Fiddle left us hanging, but he did get bottom tower, so it's fine. I think the uh, the Vlad's also gonna get free plates. I knew that Jax was roaming, but I thought that Fiddle was gonna kind of linger around mid and block it. But he decided to put too many resources into bot lane. This is a good turn. Really good turn. I haven't seen I haven't seen new fiddle actually do da that much damage yet. I guess this is what it looks like when he gets ahead. Looks like fiddle lives, so it's worth, it's fine. I'm gonna go to mid and then I'm gonna help with dragon. We'll get the second dragon here. And we'll be rocking. I give a shutdown to Jax. Not great. Um Jax can definitely beat up Vlad later. Don't take this. I make sad face. I make sad face at you. Give me four assists. Oh, you're bad. And I'm not. Look at win rates. Go like that. Juke the E. And I get Essence Reaver now. I'm gonna actually back into it now. Uh, my team, notice my team pressuring the map. Whenever my team pressure the map, all I do when I see that is I think about how I can pressure the map off of them. So look how close I'm standing on the wave. And I'm gonna go like this, spin through the wave. One, two, three. The minions will handle that and then we'll be efficient and we'll grab this. And then we'll go up to golems and we will help with this. We'll make sure this tower falls. And we won't show in top lane right away. I might just be cheesy here. Because we have time. Good. Good, good, good. Let's back away. We've zoned them off of plenty. We got our money's worth. We could threaten the red, but I think LeBlanc is there too often. Yeah, he smited it. <laughs> he got scared I was coming over that wall. Uh, if Vlad dies here, it's just bad play. There's no reason for him to be that pushed up. <clears throat> and get caught. Yeah, this is bad play. I backed off for a reason. So basically, we'd zoned them off of plenty of XP, and then he just overplayed it. They collapsed, they saw it coming. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shove mid and get my Essence Reaver now. We have a huge Jaximus at the moment. And my bot lane, or my bot side actually got something done. Fiddle's gonna kill that guy. If Fiddle gets that kill, it's mega worth. Like mega, mega, mega. I don't know if he's faster than this guy or not. Oh, he's coming. Ooh, buddy, you better. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen somebody die that way. That's hilarious. All right, so we shove mid again, and then we take wolves. So much easier to climb from mid than with top right now. I just have so much more access to the rest of the map. Which is super nice. I don't know where the enemy team is, but Zach's probably coming some of the time. Stupid. The way this works is dumb. Alright, we're faking interest, but we're not gonna int. <clears throat> We're also not about to give Zack any free food. So I'm taking the golems. I'm thinking about maybe splitting bottom soon. I don't think so, buddy. I saw your flash earlier. Oh, 
Ah, Nami, you're mine. Hello there. Ow! How do Ash Arrows always hit me in these fucking commentaries? They always say I never get hit by Ash Arrows like when I play solo. I'm gonna push this tier two. Get away from the tower. And then I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna grab this guy's wolves. I'm gonna grab this guy's. Um. Yeah. This shit's all mine, buddy. I'm gonna grab the Gromp as well. Zach is go 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 gimped. Take this. Do I help Varus? No, Varus got that. Uh. Oh. Fiddle. I don't agree with that rift. Alright. Varus is bad. The mid tower tier 2 falls. But I don't want inhib early. To be clear. I just back here. There's no play. What the fuck? Yeah, I just want to back. <clears throat> I definitely want to back. These guys are put these guys are forcing me into awkward situations. These are awkward. I'm gonna try to take these since I'm here anyways. LeBlanc just keeps trying to get Pryo, and I keep saying, no Pryo. No Pryo for you, bitch. The fact that thing will flash is just hilarious to me. Alright, the enemy team is going for Dragon, and Vlad just inted. So, that means they probably get Dragon. But we're gonna see. Fiddle's thinking about contesting. Does he have Zonius? No. They're all in this bush. Uh, I don't like. Now I'm liking it more. Gotta get this guy down. Gotta make sure to ult early, you never know. Just a safer bet. I take all the monies. Give me the monies. Breaking tower's fine. Taking inhib, uh, not so much. I don't want to give them more gold than they need. Go like that. Move up to top. Uh, Varus has top. Then we go to wolves. See how Varus is pathing top. You don't want to double up on resources. It's a bad move. Glad wants blue. Again, don't want to double up on resources. So where am I going to go? I'm going to go to this red buff. Zach might come for it. But I'm going to try to get it first. We're in a really strong position right now to carry. I mean, I'm saying to carry. We pretty much already carried this game. This game's dead in the water for them. We're just miles and miles. We're light years ahead of the enemy team right now. Okay, tree force it is. Tree force and then, uh, yeah, we'll go with this. I'm gonna take that red boof. Red boof. Red boof. Give me that. What's going on in top? Is there a TP? Mm. Nah. Not, none that I love. We're gonna take golems. And we're gonna... No, we're not gonna take chickens. We're just gonna take golems. The reason why is because I see Fiddlesticks backing. So we should give him some gold. We don't wanna take too much. But he's not gonna like doing golems at this stage of the game. Junglers don't like that. Ow. Spun into a wall. Hurt my face. I was George of the jungle and I hit a tree. I'm gonna push bottom. All the way out. Uh, who can stop me? Who can stop me? Who can stop me? No one. No one on their team can stop me, literally. Go for that. Force this guy to get away from me. Get the fuck away from me, you booger. Get level 15. Think about TPing the Baron if we have to. Grab wolves on the way. I'm TPing. I'm TPing because I feel like our Baron take isn't that fast without me there. What the hell? Hey, get your ass back in your base. I'm gonna shove top in. Like so. And I'm gonna go over here. Like so. I'm gonna take these. Spin over to top. Like this. 
is very systematic, this game. A lot smoother than last. Hey, give me that. Going over this wall. I think the enemy team has given up, and that was a very easy recovery of my LP loss in the last Lightning Fast commentary. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta say, um, it was a pretty, it was a pretty uneventful match, but, uh, there's gonna be a lot of these. Um, so let me know what you guys think. How do you think LeBlanc holds up? I think it's, I think once you use fleet and you know how to kind of manipulate, like, dodging your E and, uh, not just taking free, uh, damage from her Q, like, when she tries to detonate her Q, when she hits the Q and then she jumps you, she de detonates it. If you can avoid that and just keep your health up and spam that Q, like, niece or what? I actually happen to be niece and this is a recording of a YouTube video. <laughs> Alright guys, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe if you want to see more like it. Um, it really helps. I love you guys and I'm out. Peace. Alright, good luck on your time.